Today we're gonna explore four sides of Minecraft's own world and as you see they are all sideways So we're gonna see can I survive on this can I explore everything and find all the hidden chests and hidden loot or Will I fell down and literally die to the void? Hello guys, my name is Jibabs and today we're gonna survive sideways. So let's go First we're gonna get some trees and then we're gonna break all the leaves so we can get uh, All the saplings we need so we can plant them easily on the same spot they were Just like that. I found an apple so I ate it and I made myself some great loot like the iron pickaxe so I can mine faster now this is the first sideways side of this world it's the snowy biome so I decided to break one block of ice and get water but this almost killed me watch what happened right now so the water was pushing me out of the edges as you see I almost fell all the way down to void but somehow I, 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 I survived placed a block on the sides and jumped on it Okay, that was super scary, but then I decided to bridge all the way back to those trees very far away And when I came here, I checked up and I saw that there is a cave And a little igloo that I need to loot as you will see right now you see the cave and the igloo So I decided to take the tree or like get some like trees and then bridge up there Also guys, I just want to mention that this took a lot of time so please consider leaving a like and Consider sharing the video with your friends plus commenting what would like what would you like to see on this channel for the next video After that I went to that cave and I went to mine some iron and coal so I can make torches and better loot But then I found lava I mean not lava but I found obsidian that was already made so basically there was lava here And that will be great if we would like to go to the nether because we will need that obsidian as you're gonna see right now so I saw that I will remember where it is, but then I went to mine a bit more and I think that is very cool from this cave Okay, the cave is done. We got some iron. We got a lot of blocks But right now we're gonna go out and we're gonna go to that igloo because I wonder will we get some loot there? So let's go Okay, we just went to the igloo. We are inside and we got some food or like we got some haystacks We can make so we can turn that into the stuff or like the food and I collected pretty much everything there was here So not great loot, but I mean it's literally free stuff. So I needed to collect everything After that after I looted everything I decided it's time to go upstairs and to my house so I can go sleep just like that I went out and as you see we are on the good surface right now But I needed to fight one zombie and a skeleton which was pretty scary because I lost all of my HP I was literally on two hearts. I could have died from one arrow, but I survived and let's go. Let's go to the sleep Just like that just just like that Okay, second day we got some water and I decided to go to the sand biome or the Sahara biome And that was not not a good decision because you will see what happened right now So I had a plan to jump on the cactus with a water. I placed the water But the cactus broke and I died. I fell so high up. I literally died the same second So then I decided to go take my stuff or at least something that stayed there so I went all the way down and the only thing I found was cobblestone and snow, snow, this stuff, what is it called? Uh, snow grounds? Snow something? I don't know, let me know in the comments. But then I decided to test my luck with doing parkour which is not safe here because if I miss it I am falling all the way to void. After that I bridged out a bit to see is there anything we can get on this Sahara or the, yes, Sahara biome. And I figured out there is literally nothing that I can get here. So I decided to go to the next biome very very soon Just like that I went to big a parkour and I went to parkour to the new biome Which is I think a forest biome if I see correctly. It is a pretty cool biome. There is a lot of trees So first thing I did was collect this tree that is in front of me 
which will give me a lot of blocks so I can bridge more and I can make the axe and all the tools I lost when I died falling down to the void. Just like that, we're gonna take everything. Also, we made an axe as you see, but I cut that out. And right now, we're just gonna do some parkour on the trees until we find a secret house. So stay tuned, stay, stay tuned. Okay, break this. Okay, we're gonna go back to the safe place, as I'm gonna say it. It's safe place, nothing is safe here. I saw a big house that was super hidden, and I saw a ship, so I just want to say hello to the ship and all those things. But unfortunately, I moved a bit too, mu too, mu too much, and the ship fell almost down. Almost down. I just want to give that tension. The ship survived, okay? But then I decided to go back loot this house. I hoped we we're gonna find the chest or something, but unfortunately. There was no chests, but there were some bookshelves and some furnaces, so I mean, it was not super bad. Okay, just like that, we're gonna take all these bookshelves, so we can make the enchanting table later on the roleplay. So we're gonna just take everything that is here, and then we're gonna go far away, we're gonna go... Find some pumpkins. So, I mean, I don't know what we are waiting here. What am I looking here? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Find some pumpkins and break them so we can make the pumpkin farm in the next episode, I guess. Leave a like if you would like to see that. Also, guys, I just want to mention that this is voiceover. So, not 100% correct with the stuff that is happening. But I am trying my best for the video to be entertaining and all like that. Here, I saw a cave. And I went to the cave, I got some iron and I needed to make some torches. But while I was making torches, something weird happened. And the skeleton that is full gold armor attacked me, but I could kill him. I literally killed him and I got all the gold armor. So as you see, I am full gold right now, which is very, very epic. Also, if you hear, you hear a lot of skeletons right now in the background. You will see why very, very soon. So I was bridging up top. I saw another skeleton, I killed him, and then I literally saw a skeleton spawner with like 10 skeletons, which is not great. I was literally thinking, I am dead here. Look at them, all the... Look at them. Oh my god, I, I was literally thinking, I'm dead. As you see, they are fighting each other, which is definitely great. But I went to the safe place, which is cool. But then I went to bridge around, so I can kill them more easily. Just like that, we're gonna punch a hole here, and we know we're gonna go kill them all. Okay, after I killed them, I went on top, and I went to break that uh, spawner. It was kinda hard, but after all, I saw skeletons killing themselves. Literally skeletons killing themselves on the spawn. Okay, we're just gonna kill this one. Just like that, and then we're gonna watch the skeleton fight. And of course, I killed the last skeleton and went to see what is up in this chest. And the chest loot was really good, so stay tuned. Broke the spawn portal or the spawner and went to see what's up in the chest. Okay. And we found the diamonds. Oh my god, literally diamonds. A lot of food and some great things like TNT, arrows or some... Some, some stuff, you know, irons, TNT, all the great stuff. We're gonna take all of that. And then I decided that it's time that we go back to the surface again to my house. As you see, I made a bridge and I went to the, through the water, literally through the water to my boat. We boarded and we went all the way to my farm, just as you see. And now I decided we're just gonna leave the boat. We're gonna go sleep. But unfortunately... We couldn't sleep because there was mobs and I literally spam this right now which is not great Because you will probably not even see that I am killing a zombie right now As you see I am fighting the zombie right now I killed him super easily But also I saw a creeper that was there I tried to just hit him once He fell down so I was like okay let me just leave him because he is not in the range of my bed And I went to sleep to wait to the second day just like that. Sleep, sleep, and dream. 
The next day, I went to pick up my farm, and as you see, there is a spider on my boat, and I think it's a bug spider, maybe even two spiders, as you're gonna see, because their legs are super, super crazy, you see? I think it's maybe two spiders in one boat, which is literally crazy, so I just push them off and continue doing my farm thing. Just like that. After that, I think I put a pumpkins near my house and... Uh, kinda sorted the inventory after that So as you see I'm just gonna put pumpkins near the doors of my main house As you're gonna see right now Just like that broke everything and put pumpkins Just like that we literally got everything fixed The house looks a bit more nicer And we pushed the creeper out of the edge So win-win situation but then I decided let's go explore the second side so we're gonna explore the jungle bomb so you're gonna see it right now it is super crazy super big and also there is a cow which we of course killed because we need food so you're gonna see how I killed the cow and how all the meat fell down which is not great but still it is it is okay we got this uh, I think it's cocoa or something like that but that also fell all the way down but then we did some parkour on the jungle bomb and if we miss we're gonna literally fall in white which is not great so stay watching okay just like that i see a cave but i'm gonna load that later oh okay that was super close that was literally super super close now we have one more parkour jump that was also super close but we got everything we needed i saw uh, the watermelon there and I know I need to get it so I if I want to like a farm of watermelons and a lot of food So I went to take one and I also find two of them So I took the other one also So now we have literally pumpkins, watermelons and wheat in our farm Which is very very good After that I decided to take a bit of this jungle wood Because if, if I'm gonna make a coconut farm I need more jungles you know More jungle trees so I took a lot of them as you see Just like that Gonna take them all And after that I think I decided it's enough We're gonna go back to my house We're gonna go sleep Because the day is almost over So we went to climb on these lines I don't even know how is this called On the vines I think it's called vines So we went to climb it Just like that Oh we picked up some coconuts Okay No this is not cocos what is, how is this called? I literally forgot, literally forgot, I think it's coconut, but I'm not sure Coco? I have no idea, but guys, let me know in the comments, literally guys, let me know in the comments But yes, then I decided it's time for me to make the staircase to my house, so we did that, so it's super speed up, so enjoy Just like that, my staircase is over. But before I can go sleep, I needed to I needed to kill one skeleton, which is super easy. So as you're gonna see, okay, just gonna kill him very easy, very nice. Just like that, super easy. And as you see, all my trees are grown right now, which is super great. But I went into my house, I placed everything in the furnaces. Just as you're gonna see right now, put all the iron I found here, and put myself into third person just to say. Goodbye guys, thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, share, comment, and that is it, goodbye.